फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुरजीत घोष वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट Signs, symptoms, and uses of homi remedy: Crotalus horridus. Full name: Crotalus horridus. Common name: poison of rattlesnake. Short name: Crotalus. Source: Snake venom. Animal kingdom. Pathogenesis: It decomposes blood and brings about hemorrhage from all orifices of the body, namely eyes, ears, nose, mouth, throat, etc. etc it also acts on the cerebrospinal nerve centers producing black water fever like symptom with rapid and direct depressing influence on sensorium and medulla oblongata deranging both circulation and nutrition it acts on liver and produces malignant jaundice and edematous swelling of the body and also acts profoundly on eyes destroying their functions Relation with heat and cold of crotalus. Affected by heat and open air, constitution of crotalus, especially suited to strumous debilitated, debilitated and broken down constitution of drunkards with tendency to carbuncles and blood boils. Affected by heat, wants open air. Temperament crotalus, choleric temperament, marzms of crotalus, psychosis and syphilis in the background. Death is crotalus. hemorrhagic diathesis this is a picture of actually that snake the rattle snake was lying on right side falling to sleep warm weather spring alcohol damp and wet or warm weather early rising from sleep better light motion mental symptoms of crotalus weeping mood with memory cannot express selves correctly timid mistake in writing delirium muttering mumble jumble and fumble over their words tremens melancholic sad dwell on death incipient senile dementia forget names places figures suspicious about friend feel as if surrounded by foes or other hideous animals apathy to their own families irritable cross genetics of crotalus produces profound shock with deathly sickness trembling and prostrations easily tired from exertion paralysis of the insen post diphtheritic paralysis hemorrhages are dark thin slow oozing do not clot easily from all orifices of the body tissues rapidly decomposes producing putrid and malignant conditions septic condition of tonsils goiter ulcer abscess and blood boils generalities of crotalus continuation petechi gangrene neuralgia as a sequel to sepsis chronic biliousness and climacteric condition fainting convulsions epilepsy with trembling of limb foam at the mouth violent cries delirium plague yellow fever yellow fever is an acute viral hemorrhagic disease transmitted by infected mosquito the name yellow refers to jaundice that often occurs with this fever general burning sensations mildly odor of secretions multiple and lateral sclerosis eye symptoms of crotalus red burning with lacrimation yellow color of the eyes neuralgia as if a cut had been made around the eyes absorbs the intraocular hemorrhage especially non inflammatory this is very important symptom non inflammatory exudate absorption crotalus 
in the intraocular hemorrhage within the eye there is hemorrhage and non inflammatory some uh, deposit is there for absorption you eat crotalus it will be absorbed retinal hemorrhage picture on the right hand side amblyopia from grief or from overuse of vision amblyopia means weak in vision vision weakness ear symptoms cotylus auditory vertigo blood oozes from the ear no symptoms cotylus epistaxis epistaxis is bleeding from nose especially during diphtheria or other septic diseases ozina from syphilis or from exanthemata ozina ozina is a disease very very obnoxious disease uh where the whole nasal structure the bony structure of nose is destructed it is generally a sequelae of syphilis tip of the nose blue red face symptoms of cotylus distorted on walking lips swollen stiff numb dark besotted face face yellow death like pallor lock jaw acne of masturbators of drunkards there is acne of drunkards acne with delayed menses mouth symptoms of cotylus mainly breath grinding teeth at night tongue yellow swollen protruded to the right fills up with saliva which is bloody and froth cancer of tongue this picture is shown in the right hand side cancer of tongue with hemorrhage palate stiff cannot speak for constriction around tongue and throat throat symptoms of cotylus dry throat with thirst tight constriction difficulty in swallowing of solids gangrenous swollen throat stomach symptoms of cotylus crepe pork sugar stimulants bilious gas green vomiting cannot retain anything can that is cannot retain anything in the stomach everything is coming out cannot bear clothes around the stomach vomiting purging urinating simultaneously one of the most peculiar symptom vomiting purging urinating urinating simultaneously ulcer cancer of stomach vomit on the on lying right side vomiting of black blood monthly nausea and vomiting and vomiting after menses abdomen symptoms of cotylus swollen hot tender abdomen peritonitis inguinal gland enlarged bleeding from anus when standing and walking stools black thin or offensive perineal abscess perineal abscess abscess in the perineum region perineum region is between uh, anal orifice and the end point of the um, uh, our say ke penis or in case of um, uh, women it is vagina the end of the vagina from end of the vagina or from the root of the penis up to the anal orifice is place is called perineum and that for perineum this peri perineal term has come abscess in that region hematic jaundice malignant jaundice coldness in stomach or abdomen as from piece of ice pain in the liver top of shoulder intestinal hemorrhage urinary symptoms cotylus dark bloody urine albumina scanty green yellow urine hematuria with cancer of bladder and prostate female symptoms cotylus dysmenorrhea with pain in hypogastrium this is hypogastrium region this is uh, the abdomen has been divided into nine parts the nine parts has been shown here from here 3 3 3 this is called hypogastrium these are iliac umbilical these are lumbar epigastric these are hypogastric nine parts sensation as if uterus would drop out peripheral fever peripheral fever means fever after after delivery of child offensive loccia phlegma alba dolens worse from touch this is phlegma alba dolens this is a peculiar disease this disease uh, uh, arises out of deep uh, brain the vein uh, here is the actually uh, femoral vein deep femoral vein thrombosis from deep femoral vein thrombosis this leg is devoid of blood as such it has become semi um, how should i call it is semi uh, not quite completely 
loss of blood supply hole loss of blood supply in the leg and it will become heavy it will become numb unless the same obstruction is obliterated when supply will be coming and this will be natural this is natural leg this is deep vein thrombosis leg after deep vein thrombosis this is called phlegmasia alba dolens respiratory symptoms of cotylus anxious labored breathing cough with bloody sputum cough with bloody sputum of mouldy odor oppression of old people heart symptoms of cotylus heart weak trembles loose turns over palpitations during menses heart tender when lying on left side extremity symptoms of cotylus arms and legs become numb first one then the other pain in top of shoulder right sided paralysis paralysis of left hand and leg when swaying hands feel dead cannot keep leg still skin symptoms of cotylus yellow jaundice septicemia purpurea hemorrhagica purpura hemorrhagica means hemorrhage pinpoint hemorrhage all over the body pinpoint hemorrhage blood boils carbuncles phelan old cicatrices break open again skin cold and dry old cicatrices break open again means old area where injuries was uh, re recovered i mean some injury was there it was treated properly and that injury was joined i mean the cut portion was joined that cut portion is again breaks open it happens sometimes then cotylus is the medicine this is very rare cases very in incurable type of disease this is this type of disease because it was there um, some old cut was there then there thick um, thick deposition of fibers and joint that thick joint portion is again break open this is called old cicatrices break open skin cold dry edema about the affected part skin shows every tint of color <coughs> sleep symptoms of cotylus drowsy but cannot sleep sleepless from nervous agitation horrible dreams of dead suffocation after awakening happening means rising from the sleep fever symptoms of cotylus malignant fever high fever yellow fever cerebrospinal meningitis black water fever so many types of fevers are there all fevers are, are covered by cotylus sweat cold bloody complemented medicine lycopodium related medicine lachesis and sulfuric acid this is black water fever the face of patient black water fever <laughs> With this the video ends thanks for listening viewing any problem write down in the comment section i would certainly attend